Dan, tell tell us about uh, your experience at our office. Well, uh, I was referred to you, as you know, and uh, came in the first time to meet you, and was uh, very was immediately made comfortable with your demeanor as an individual. Uh, you're not an imposing dentist, which was refreshing for me. Uh, not being a great lover of dentists, nothing personal, uh, and. Uh, my subsequent visit where we actually, you know, first we discussed the treatment uh, options of uh, what you saw in my mouth, uh, which at the time was not too pleasant, you know, as we both know. And uh, we talked about the treatment options for, you know, good oral health. And uh, uh, I left. You told me how to, how to research to verify some of what you told me. And uh, you challenged me to do my research before I made a decision, and uh, which I thought was a pretty interesting approach. Rather than just send me home with a bunch of stuff to read, you basically said, go find some stuff to read and figure out whether or not this is what you think is right for you. Uh, and uh, so then, you know, I did that. You did that. And, yeah. you know, uh, how long did it here take, we are. How long did it take you f for you to do your research? Um, I probably spent three or four weeks uh, off and on. I mean, it wasn't like... I and you were researching myself, on... I was researching on the internet. I read some dental journals. So, you know, I, just, right. I looked... Because I, I, we were talking about... We were talking about the laser... We were talking about laser the laser-assisted new attachment procedure. Went right. out. And uh, uh, so I was, you know, Googling that and just looking for anything I could find, good, good, bad, and otherwise, you know. And like I said, I read some articles that were in a couple of dental journals and I read some, uh, some statistical reports and... and a couple of online videos that talked about, hey, this is this is what it's all about, and everything I read led me uh, to believe that what you had told me was 100% accurate. That this was a treatment that, for me, uh, offered not just the opportunity to prevent my condition from getting any worse, but to actually be curative which, you know, in the periodontal world is almost an oxymoron. Yeah. You know, curative periodontal work, they just don't go together, you know? So, you know, here we are now. We've finished the procedure. Uh, you know, you're bragging to me about what my gums look like, which makes me feel pretty good, okay? Uh, and uh, the mouth is totally comfortable. We went through that whole process, the whole mouth, in one day. You know, no discomfort. Uh, uh, and... You know, what, some ibuprofen and, and some, you know, post-treatment oral antibiotic for a, a week or two, and, you know, I'll be eating turkey on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, so, what more can you say? Would you recommend this to your friends or family if they needed it? If anybody had, you know, that type of, of, of uh, periodontal disease such as my own, uh, I would absolutely recommend my father, when I was a youngster, had the more traditional periodontal approach with, you know, the cutting away of gum tissue and mm. the actually lowering of the gum line along mm. the tooth. And, and uh, now, granted, it did, it saved his teeth, mm -hmm. but it was an incredibly painful experience to watch my father go through mm -hmm. as a youngster myself, and not something I was thrilled about repeating. And that was the option I was facing mm. until you and I, I you know, were fortunate enough to cross paths. And to have avoided that, having seen someone else already go through it, um, that was, you know, well, truly worthwhile for me. And, you know, I mean, yeah, I would, I would highly recommend that if nothing else, people at least come and, and uh, visit with you as a prospective dentist, not just for periodontal stuff, right. you know, I mean, right. I mean, you know, it's like the filling. Did. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, it's it, your your manner <laughs> for me is so relaxed and straightforward and unimposing mm -hmm. that it's literally for the first time in my life it's a pleasure to be in a <laughs> <dinner> chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really appreciate that, Dan. Thank you.